Three women in Iran have been sentenced to 55 years in jail for disrespecting compulsory hijab. In Iran, the hijab is the de facto Islamic dress code. A revolutionary court in the capital city of Tehran delivered the verdict to the three women who were already in custody. But three women had been charged with assembly and collusion to act against national security, propaganda against uh, the regime, as well as encouraging and preparing the grounds for corruption and prostitution. Human rights activists have said that the decision is completely unfair because the verdict was delivered to the prisoners in the absence of their lawyers. Now, judge, the judge, in fact, has also delivered the verdict. The same judge who on March 11 sentenced a prominent Iranian lawyer and defender of women's rights, Nasreen Sotudeh, to nearly 40 years. The debate over whether women should wear a hijab has further polarized Iran, especially at a time when the country is facing unprecedented U.S. sanctions. So, why are more Iranian women pushing back against the dress code? Here's more. On the streets of Tehran, some women can be seen wearing the hijab. They signal pride in their identity. But while some opt to wear a hijab, others feel compelled to do so. I would not remove my hijab because I'm not looking for trouble. They have impounded my car for two weeks now under the excuse of being slightly veiled. I'm sure that I had not removed my headscarf. They have labeled me as a poorly veiled to impound my car and charge me money. Now more women are pushing back against the dress code, trying to redefine red lines as they test the response of the ruling Shiite Muslim clergy and their security agencies. If the society accepts the freedom of choice when it comes to hijab and change how they view those who are not veiled, I would remove my hijab too. Otherwise, I won't. Many other women, while stopping short of outright defiance, wear loosely draped colorful scarves that show as much hair as they cover. Even in Tehran's Grand Bazaar, most female shoppers wore casual hijabs. Still, a sizable majority of women were covered head to toe in black robes and tightly pulled headscarves, the chador. Last month, Iran hired 2,000 morality police to punish women who refused to wear the compulsory hijab in public. According to Iran's Islamic Penal Code, women who appear in public places and roads without wearing an Islamic hijab will be sentenced to 10 days to two months imprisonment or a fine of 50,000 to 5,000 riyals. But reformist lawmakers point out that morality police has been a failure. Yes, they should. They're, uh... The morality police were not successful in institutionalizing the hijab for women. The question I have always asked the policymakers in this regard has been whether their policies have worked or not. What we see is that the morality police has been a failure. Some Islamic hardliners in Iran have called for harsh punishment, even lashes, arguing that allowing women to show their head leads to moral decay and the disintegration of families. Last month, a video showing morality police grabbing an unveiled teenage girl and violently pushing her into the back of a police car prompted widespread criticism. Amid all the chaos, Tehran is barely being able to cope with U.S. President Donald Trump's maximum pressure campaign. U.S. sanctions have hit the Iranian economy hard. While the oil-rich nation's crude exports have been down, inflation and unemployment have risen drastically. Frustration over the sanctions is running high among Iranians who have seen the value of Iran's currency plummet by about 60% over the past year. But inside Iran, the debate is still over whether women should leave their houses without a hijab. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.